Hello everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to Andrea's Attic. Here is another colouring book flip through. We haven't done one for a long time. Thought I'd do one because I really like um, Samina Fennec. So I thought we'll have a quick look at the pictures in her Fairy Tales, uh, Princess and Fables book. I think this is the newest one that she's put out. So here's the cover and here's the back. Um, two of each, 25 pictures. So you get 50 pages, but they are double cut. Uh, duplicates there are so many I haven't got I do need to get more of the books so let's have a start and look at it so lovely cover usual this book belongs to Paige and we've got a sample of all the images and then the first one is Beauty and the Beast so we've got Belle and the Beast and then on the other side it tells you a little bit about the actual fairy tale just a basic plot so there's that one I'll just zoom in so you can see the picture slightly better and the next one is oh, not the next one the next one is Cinderella what I like about this is she's still got her finery on but and as you, if you look towards the bottom let me zoom it in her finery is turned into rags as she runs away from the palace which I, I quite like that idea let's take that out so you can see the next one then the next one is obviously the Little Mermaid. Again, it does tell you a little bit about it. I don't know if that's focusing but very well. Now this one is Diamonds and Toads. This is one I didn't know. I like the story. Oh, it's a French fairy tale. Two stepsisters, one kind and selfless. And the other rude and lazy. When the kind sister helped a fairy in disguise, she was gifted with gold and diamonds and roses that fell from her mouth when she spoke. The mean sister wished for the same fortune and sought out the fairy but was rude and unhelpful and as her reward was cursed to have vipers and toads fall from her mouth instead. So I quite like that. That's a great picture. That's going to be fun to colour. Next one is the story of Thumbelina. It's lovely that they're sitting on a lily pad. Red Riding Hood. Snow White and Rose Red. German tale with no connection to the other Snow White. Uh, these sisters are visited throughout the winter by a friendly bear. They let him into their warm home and brush the snow off. And in summer they discovered he was a prince under a wicked dwarf's curse. So, yeah, that's a lovely one. I remember having Snow White and Rose Red as a ladybird reading book when I was little. So that's, I think that's the thing with fairy tales. They bring back memories. Snow Queen. Goose Girl, a German fairy tale where a male, a maid steals a princess's identity, leaving the princess to become the servant herding geese. The true princess is helped by her magic horse, even after the horse is slain and its head mounted on the barn wall. Yeah, you know what? Fairy tales, not so nice. Vasilisa, yeah, Vasilisa the Wise. It's a Russian fairy tale and Vasilisa is sent into the woods by her cruel stepmother to collect light from the home of Baba Yaga, the witch. Baba Yaga gives the girl a set of trials which she beats with the help of an enchanted doll. That sounds freaky enough. She's allowed to leave with the light she came seeking in the form of a skull lantern full of burning coals. Not nice fairy tales. Frog Prince. Shh, I'm not going to even, I can't pronounce it. Shezer Snade. It's a storytelling character from Middle Eastern of 1001 Nights. She volunteers to marry a sultan known for killing his wives after only one night. Polite, witty and well-read, she saves her life each night by telling him a fascinating tale and ending on a cliffhanger so the sultan cannot kill her lest he never know the, um, the ending. She continues this for 1001 nights when she finally tells him she has no more stories but by then he has truly fallen in love with her. Wonderful. Wild swans. And swans. A young princess is task breaking the curse on her 11 brothers which have been transformed into swans to break the curse she must knit each of them a shirt from nettles and take a vow of silence till it's done for her action she is almost burned as a witch but the curse is broken at the last second and she and her brothers are saved Rapunzel you all know Rapunzel that's a lovely picture mind and Snow White of course Princess in the Pea Sleeping Beauty, falling asleep on her spinning wheel. I love that one. I'm definitely going to do that one. I really love that one. 
East of the Sun and West of the Moon, which is a Norwegian fairy tale about a girl who was promised by her father to marry a great white bear. When she discovers he was really a cursed human prince, he and his castle disappear and she sets out on a long quest to find him again and save him for the curse. Rumpelstiltskin, again one we all know. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, that's a lovely picture that is. Aladdin. Twelve Dancing Princesses. Now this is one I do know. I didn't realise it was the same story, but it is. So basically, the king promises a reward to the man who can discover the secret of how his daughters will wear out their slippers every night. A soldier followed the princesses as they escaped through a secret door into a magical land with silver, gold and gemstone trees where they dance the nights away until their shoes are worn out and they must return home. Now we did a version of this when I was in Tembury Wells Amateur Dramatic Society as our pantomime and we just called it the Dancing Princess and we only had the one. Um, I played the wise storyteller who told the story of the Dancing Princess but it's basically the same story about the king wanted to know why his daughter was wearing out her shoes every night. Yeah. So yeah, it was a lot simpler with one princess than with twelve. <laughs> oh, those were the days. And then we got Hansel and Gretel. That's a great picture. It's going to be fun um, colouring in the gingerbread house, I think, on that one. Puss in Boots. Nice, nice one. It's a nice picture as well. We got Jack of the Beanstalk. And that's, that's the 25 and then you get the second set to do them again. So you can colour them as dark as you want. So this one's quite a dark version of Snow White with the, the very dark dress. So you could colour it as dark as gothic as you want and then the second set you could colour them like Disney princesses if you wanted to. It wouldn't make much difference, you could do whatever you want. Um, yeah, so that is a flip through of fairy tales, uh, princesses and fables kind of by Selena Fennec. Again, she's one of my favourite artists at the back. It tells you where you can buy them. I've got her Instagram, her Facebook, her Amazon page and her Etsy shop. Great. I'll share your work on Instagram, Carla Selena. I have done that sometimes. And like I said at the book back, we've got some of her other books highlighted. So you've got the Goddess colouring book, which I love the Goddess one. I've coloured that one in. The Water Goddess. Um, I've done some. I've done that one from Gothic. I've done another one as well, but I've definitely done that one. And I haven't got that one yet. <coughs> so, yeah, I recommend Selena Fennec if you like colouring in uh, fantasy and, and stuff like that. They are really lovely books. So, that's it from this uh, video for today. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of Selena Fennec's fairy tales. I do recommend her books. They are stunning. You know, she's not, it's not that she does do the cutesy ones because she does for adorables, but she's not like um, Sherry Baldy or Hanlin where ladies are all with cutesy and there's nothing wrong with them. And I love Hanlin. I really do. I love Sherry Baldy as well and Lucy Valentin. And I do love all those cutesy stuff as well. But if you like to colour in something a bit more realistic, these are, but, but in keeping with the fantasy and fairy tales, Selena Fennec is the girl for you. That is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when a new video comes up on Andrea's Attic. I'm trying to do more. Um, I don't have a niche. Apparently you should have a niche. I post what the hell I like. The Vinyl Vlog is my niche channel and that's just about music, but I don't post much on there sadly. I've got to do more on that. But that's it for today. I really hope you have enjoyed this. I'm going to stop waffling now and go to bed because it's getting late. And I will see you all soon with some more videos. Bye.